So you're a hardcore Iron Man or hardcore group Iron Man and you want to kill Zilliana, but you don't have good gear. You got no blowpipe, no rigor, no bones of peaches, no Serp Helm, no Tebow, but you want to kill Zilliana. Well, this is how I did it. I'll just show you 350kc, I got all the drops, and this is how I did it. What you're going to need, a Zami piece, Sardomen piece, 81 herb, and preferably 83 slayer. Here's my loadout. Got my pouch so I can teleport to Trollheim. One click telly, a whip for KC, three staminas, three ranging, 10 restores, 10 brews. Okay, let's go get KC. If you're lucky like me, before you go, I'm going to get a combat dose out and an angler. I'm going to eat those. I'm going to head back over. So you drop down, you got your two pieces on. What can attack you is the Avenancies and Goblin stuff. So if you just stay on this left side, nothing to worry about. Wait for them to fight monsters, just tag off any human looking creature. The Knights, the Mages, the Rangers. You just wait, get in combat, run over there, smack them. This is where I get my 40 KC. I just wait for them to go into combat. And just slowly build the 40. All right, I got my KC, but if it wasn't clear, East is obviously where you go. He's headed that way. I stick this area right here to kill stuff. The only potentially dangerous person to fight you is an Avenancy, who some people, if I just shoot him, you can get dragged over pretty far if you could just watch. He'll follow me over here. And sometimes when you come down, he'll be right here in your face. And he'll attack you. He's stuck behind that pillar there, but you can be dragged down. So, no worries. And some people get the KC over here, because if they just find it more safe or more simple. Just drop down here. Once again, whatever's fighting the werewolf or the vampires you fight and you kill. Nothing here attacks you. Nothing to worry about. Same thing down the ladder. Obviously, you'll need two ropes your first time here, but if you're here, I assume you'll get a bit of knowledge what's going on. This guy's fighting right here. But he's stacked in great gear. We don't have that. So, first things first, what I do is I set up my marks. You just shift right click a tile. Pretty simple stuff. What I first do is I just mark. Obviously, you're going to zoom in, zoom out. I marked all four of the corners. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I also close my chat when I do this fight. This guy's got a pretty nice control too, but what I do, we're gonna walk in here, the boss is gonna spawn here, we'll get a shot off, go to this corner, get a shot, and basically what we do is we run to the corner, when we get to this tile, we're gonna hit Zilliana, and then go to this corner and hit, then run across. I'll show it to you, it's pretty straightforward and simple. Gear-wise though, like I have some upgrades you're not gonna probably have, I got an Anguish, but Diamond Bolts E are way better than what I think else I used. Oh, see if you have Dragon Bolts, use those, those are pretty cool. So, quick prayers, okay. Mage, Eagle Eye, Steel Skin, pretty straightforward, and I'm a hardcore, so when I go inside here, I put sound on. With sound on, you will hear when the ranger hits you or when Zilliana starts slapping you. Because she will slap you good. So, going to put our run on. Got our sound on. Got our bow on. Going to brew up. Hit a restore. Make sure you got your one click. Range up. A big thing to, to worry about here is your run. Because if you're not running here, you're having a bad time. So I'm not going to run till my first circle. Prayer on. You're ready to go. Got my tiles marked. She might hit me here. Happens. So she got close there and sometimes she'll do that animation. And she'll slow down for a thing. So I just want to show you one generic lap. 
click over there. When you get to this tile, boom, hit, click over, click over there. Get past that tile. Some folks like going the other way. This is the way that I go. And you just get over here, throw an attack. Get over here, throw an attack. You shot, prayer's going down. This boss is just pressing your left keyboard button. I'm gonna stamina up. So when I'm here, I don't brew down till I'm 60 HP. Because I'm 99. I obviously I have 125. This boss comes out to a lot of luck. Like for me with 99 range and ranging potion, there's like a 65% chance I'll kill her within my stamina dose. And then I'll take a second dose for 30%. And then if you're unlucky, I use two. So it's just pretty get to the line, shoot. And so let's say something stupid. Say you go over here and oh, you misclick. And you're gonna run back into her. Oh, you do this. She'll slap you like, okay, well, she didn't even slap me. I'll let her hit me. She'll hit me. She's gonna hit me pretty hard probably. Go to the corner. Brew out three times. Pretty easy. Drink another ranging pot if you have it, depending on how comfortable you are here. Rinse and repeat. There's a mechanic where if you shoot Starlight under Zilliana, they'll move, like, it moves faster. It'll, like, there's a good chance to hit you. You'll see it runs super fast, and this thing is annoying, this unicorn. He will mess you up. So let's just do a little example. So like sometimes people, they get a little nervous and they click over here and she'll kind of go off path. You get a shot. I didn't do it there very well. I'll do the other side. Just get back in the corner. She'll kind of go there and just click. Worked out pretty well there for me actually. When she gets into a certain range of you, she can proc that and if she hits you, it's gonna really hurt. I heard that noise from my stamina. I'm gonna redose. She's Once again, oh, I misclicked. I ran through here. She's gonna hit me. She's not going to. Nothing to worry about. Like, relatively, she can get you down here, but it, like, unless you DC or do a serious leg spike, nothing to really be too worried about here. I'm at 50 HP, not worried. Well, now I'm at 37, a little bit of worry. Just like you can shoot if you want to as you're doing the potting up, but I just like to just take it simple, keep running. That's the noise when the ranger hits you, Bree, I think. I wasn't even, po I wasn't even potted up there. Her defense sometimes, like I'll do a full two minute of running around and she'll be 50 HP down, 200 left. This boss can be very frustrating. Like sometimes you'll get her to 20 HP and you'll just do eight laps. You'll have 15 zeros. That's just the nature of Zilliana. So quite often usually in kills, I'm kind of at this point where I have like 60 HP, but I don't want to brew down from my restore. And if I have a lot of run left, when she gets killed, I will kind of, a little bit of kiting Starlight. Cause if I have the stamina dose left, I'll just keep doing this a little bit. Because if you just stand there, sometimes this unicorn will wreck you for a bunch of 14s. So you just kind of do just a mini kind of circle and just kind of take a few less hits. Because you're still brewed up. I mean, you're still... Uh, yeah, range bought up. Let's just see if she's going to hit me pretty hard here. Stamina runs low. The main concern without a blowpipe is just to kill Starlight. Like you can see, get a little bit wrecked here. Not too worried about getting spiked out here. I think the max is like a 14, 16. So getting wrecked by Starlight. So usually you want to kite the best you can if you got the energy for it. But once again, not worried. Timer is 30 seconds. Summer pie. They also drop monkfish. 
usually because I'm not going to kill them in time. I'll try and get them relatively both kind of low, so one kill. I can kill them both, get my altar, my prayer back every 10 minutes. Coming up soon. I'm going to brew up. Hit my range, make sure I got my right prayers on. It's going to spawn right about here. I got nailed there. That happens. You can hit her once here. You can get three shots here if you time it right. Go up here. Get to your line again. And you're back in business. Like, What I'm more worried about here is having stamina. Just... Like I misclick there, it happens. Get to the line. It's a very boring boss here. Like it just. And if your prayer does drop here sometimes, it's not like it's just like not a big danger. If she starts to hit you, obviously it's a problem. But say you drop prayer there for a few seconds, you just run all the way over here. Okay, I brewed up. Okay. Run back over. And sometimes if your inventory is getting low as you go down here, sometimes, okay, I I, I have a lot. Oh, I, I'm low on restore potions. Like I got, I was taking two doses to one. So sometimes you're like, okay, I just got, I just got to drop. Okay, I still have my quick prayer on. Just going to take off steel skin because I need to preserve a little more prayer. Easy peasy. Like I said, get to the second mark, shoot. Just be comfortable with your zoom in, zoom out, turning left. 50 HP, like this is very minimal worry. Sometimes I don't want to brew down, I'll eat that you know, around 60 HP. I feel very safe at 60. 45, I get a little bit nervous because some kills you like last kill, little supplies. I've killed with like 40 HP left. I've had pretty good luck so far on these kills. Like Diamond Bolts E, much better than any kind of, like I buy Dragon Stone, Enchanted Ruin Bolts, trash here. My, um, I have this Bolts here, trash. This is going to happen to you a bunch of times. You're going to have your stamina running out, but you could probably kind of kill her and you're kind of brewed up. So you've got to have to make a tough choice here. Do I keep fighting or do I just accept the L? I just, okay, I'm just going to. I'm gonna run across, get my free shot off. You can hit her sometimes. Brew back up. Watching my stamina. I never let it go below 30. Another thing I didn't talk about, like ruin kite shields and other ruin drops you get here. Like the weight's important. If you if you don't have like a pouch for elks, I generally just wouldn't keep it because you're here for the big ticket items. Just wasn't working out for me. Like sometimes this last little 13 HP is going to take you 5, like 10, 15 shots. Got lucky there. Coins. This boss has quite trash drops outside of that. So... I never run the other way, so I wouldn't trust that tile, but I just like to just see how far I am. Because some people say you can get three attacks going this long way. Maybe they mean like two bow and like a blowpipe. I don't really know. Or two. But this is just how I do it. Very generic gear. I'm getting rinsed here. Like I said, it's unless you're going to lag here, stay. You got your staminas. You got your restores. My first trip here, I brought anglers. I was kind of worried. Nice and easy. With my setup, I usually get six to eight kills a trip. If I get a brew restore drop, I can get nine, ten. A couple of times I got eleven, so I got two of them. And if you would kill that one here first, you would just drop into here. Like it's relatively a safe and calm place. The only, like stressing out here is how you die or lagging. If you got to this level of hardcore, I'm certain you can do this boss. Getting low. Oh, I got nailed thing in there. Well, 
one more time just to show what's going on. Because what a lot of people do wrong is they try to like cut corners and she'll hit you on this corner. Like sometimes you'll be right here and you'll think you can get a shot off and she'll smack you here. Let's see if I can get like, see, I got a little greedy. 70 HP and she'll hit you here like that. When you hear that sound, you know it's bad because she attacks fast. But nice and easy, nice and calm. It's very boring. Follow your marks. Have your sound on. That's a good sound. That's your bolt procking. <laughs> After like four or five trips, you could do this with like one eye closed basically. But this boss is perfect because like some bosses you can just kind of AFK for like 10 seconds. But this boss like you're relatively dialed in. And you can kind of like listen to a podcast, relax, just click and go. 40 HP again. Like we're not worried about it. Get like... She almost should never ever touch you unless you're making a poor choice or you're not clicking your tiles right. Which happens. 28 HP. Now we're getting a little bit low. Gonna do my three doses. If I was serious right now, I would re I'd go all the way up to my max. I want to be able to not brew down for the killing the minions if I was taking this dead seriously. My brew dose still has 50 seconds on it. Just double check. No worries. And do not let her keep smacking you because she attacks so fast. You can change your elk things if all of a sudden that thing pops up for you. Just change the requirements for that because like if you pick up ruin here you want to elk it and that's that pretty boring pretty janky kill so any questions let me know once again get your potions i'm ready to ring a life because i <laughs> i don't think i need it but i just always get a bit lagging out obviously the varrock is way better because it gives a bunch of defensive stats crystal shield Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Good luck out there.